Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brown Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, June 12th, 2019. For me, I think it's kind of a slower week for comics. I don't have as many picks as I normally do this week, but with that being said, let's go ahead and roll into the picks. Kicking us off this week, we have Batman Who Laughs number six. I've really enjoyed this series. Batman Who Laughs is a pretty popular character. You don't hear as much buzz around this title as you have with Batman Who Laughs, but it is still a great series, and so I'm gonna pick this up. There's a regular cover by Jock. There's also a regular price variant by Jenny Friesen, so I'm gonna be picking up the Jenny Friesen variant. Coming in next, we have Catwoman number 12. Now you have the regular Joel Jones cover, but what I'm really liking this week is the Art Germ variant. I've kind of experienced some Art Germ fatigue, but this cover is absolutely fantastic, so I can't wait to pick this up. Next, we have Detective Comics 1005. This brings us to the finale of the Arkham Knight saga. This is gonna have a regular Brad Walker cover, but what I like on this is the regular price variant, gorgeous cover, so I'm gonna be picking that up. And I'm looking forward to completing the Arkham Knight arc. Next, we have the big DC event with Event Leviathan number one. This is written by Brian Michael Bendis. Interior art by Alex Maleev. Blockbuster team, looking forward to picking this up. This is gonna have a regular cover, and it's got a regular price variant. Next up for DC, we have Flash number 72. This contains the Flash Year One story arc. It's gonna have a regular Howard Porter cover, as well as a regular price variant by Derek Chu. I like the Chu variant on this. A lot of people are hit or miss on his art, but I'm one that likes it, so I'm gonna be picking up that variant. Wrapping up DC and rolling into Dynamite Publishing, there's only one book that I'm looking at this week, and that is Red Sonja, Birth of She-Devil number one. I've seen Dynamite has a lot of covers. I've seen a lot of store exclusives. There's only one cover that I'm looking at picking up this week, and that is the Incentive Virgin Lucio Prio variant. Looking at previews, it doesn't even look like it's exactly a ratio variant. I can't verify this, but from reading the previews, it said that they were only gonna print a certain amount more than what was ordered for that variant. So I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. I've seen a few listed on eBay, but I like that Virgin variant. That's the one I'm gonna be picking up. But I know there's a lot of great store exclusives out there as well. Moving on into IDW this week, we have Amber Blake number four. It seems like Amber Blake, the buzz has started to die down a little bit, but I still love this story. And I still love those Catherine No Debt variants. Moving into Image Comics this week, we have Ride Burning Desire number one. This is celebrating the 15th anniversary of Ride. It's gonna be a five-part miniseries, plus it also has a backup feature from Adam Hughes. This is gonna have two different covers for it. There's a regular Adam Hughes cover. There's also a regular price Daniel Hilliard variant. Plus be aware there's also store exclusive Adam Hughes variants for this, including Virgin variants. So be on the lookout for those as well. Next up, we have Sonata number one. This is a new series from Image Comics. It's going to be about two different cultures that crash on a planet that they both believe is the promised land. One culture's peace loving, one culture's war driving, and they're going to clash to see who can seek and take control. This is going to have a regular cover for it as well as a regular priced variant. Moving on over into Marvel this week, Champions number six. This is a book I like mostly just for the cover, and I'm talking about the regular priced variant, which is done by N. Hyak Lee. I love that cover, love a lot of his covers. This one really sticks out to me. So I'm buying this on cover art alone, and that's why I have it in this video. Immortal Hulk number 19. This is another one you're starting to see some of the buzz die down a little bit, but the story about Al Ewing's still great, so it hasn't dropped off there. And I still love those Alex Ross regular covers. So I'm gonna pick this up. This has a regular Alex Ross cover, as well as a Marvel's 25th tribute variant by Greg Smallwood. Both great covers. If I have the money, I'd pick both up, but I'm definitely going with that Alex Ross. Next, we have Marvel Tales Spider-Man number one. This is another one that's gonna have the regular cover and the Virgin variant by both covers by Jim Bartel. The Virgin variant, no matter which ones they put out for these Marvel Tales, whether it's Thanos, whether it's, they've all been skyrocketing on the secondary market. I'm anxious to see when they start dropping down, but so far they've shown no sign of it. So I expect the Spider-Man Virgin variant by Jim Bartel to do really well. Also, some stores have already taken notice because they're already selling it well above ratio to begin with. So if you're doing it that way, that leaves little wriggle room as far as the margin of profit you have to sell in the secondary market. So please be aware of that as well. Next, we have the big release from Marvel. Everyone's well aware of it. And that is Silver Surfer Black. This has Donny Cates writing, Trad Moore on art. It's gonna have eight different covers for it. You have a regular Trad Moore cover. There's a regular price Ron Lim variant. 
There's a regular priced blank variant. There's a regular price Comics Pro Addy Grenade variant. There's an Incentive Gerald Peril variant. An Incentive 1 in 25 Nick Bradshaw variant. There's an Incentive Mike Zek Hidden Gem variant. And an Incentive Nick Bradshaw Virgin variant. Out of all of them, I'm a Grenade fan, so if I can get it, I'm gonna get the Comics Pro regular priced variant. Venom number 15, this is a War of the Realms tie-in. It's gonna have a regular cover. Because it is a tie-in story, I actually like the regular price variant on this, which is actually a Marvel's 25th tribute variant by Simone Bianchi. Now, if it was still part of the regular story, I would probably go with the regular cover because normally I don't like variant, variant issues where the cover has nothing to do with the story. But since it's a tie-in, that's why I'm going with the variant on this one. Next up for this week, we have Trustfall number one. This comes from Aftershock Comics, and it's based on a girl that has special abilities that she can teleport things or people, but she can't teleport herself. She's in a criminal family. They're doing all these heists. She can teleport her family and all the stolen heists to a safe location, but she relies on her family after the fact to help get her to safety because she can't teleport herself. Hence the title called Trust Fall. There's a regular cover by Chris Visions. There's also an incentive variant by Claire Rowe. So there it is guys, those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, June 5th, 2019. As always, comment down below, let me know what books you guys are picking up. And question of the day, do you buy just comic books or do you collect other things as well? Do you collect toys? Do you buy statues? Do you collect trading cards? Or are you solely limited to collecting comic books? I kind of branch out all over the place, so I'm interested to see if other people do that as well. Or if, hey, blinders, Comics are my thing, and that's what I'm picking up. And this is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next time.